Hi guys, it's Brooklyn, and welcome to my channel. So, today's video is going to be a wee mini random haul. So, I've got stuff about 10 days ago, hence the kind of crumpled bag. I went in town with my sister, not last Friday, but the first day before. It's now something night, so 10 days ago. So, I'm not entirely sure when this video is going to go up. But I'm presuming it will be within this next month because I do like to pre-film the videos just so I have plenty for the upcoming weeks, months, even sometimes within the year. Because I am just like that, random. But um, yes, so I've got mainly super drug, but I've also got a couple of things in Pandan. So I'm going to just get the Pandan stuff kind of in the front of the bag first. So I got Freddy from Poundland. First off is this Argan Oil Heat Protecting Leave-In Conditioner. Sorry for her. So it's basically like a two-in-one leave-in spray. It's called the Heat Defense. So it has Moroccan Argan Oil Extract in it. So it's meant to really moisturise, hydrate your heart and also protect against heat. I use this every time I dry my hair, curl my hair, straighten my hair. I love it. It's a pound, so it's really, really good value. And it is decent for the hair. It does kind of make her feel nice once it's dried and all in. And it does protect her from the heat. So it's quite a good double duty. Instead of bringing one leave-in conditioning spray and then one heat protecting spray, it's all kind of into like a two-in-one, which is quite good. And it does have oil to it, so it's nice for the hair. And I needed a new one because I ran out of my old one. So, yeah. Um, next thing I got, because I've got a couple of holiday things here, I got these flip flops. Now, they were, I think, they were three pound, so they're quite like cheap flip flops or like the sweet throw on ones. I got them in a small and they're from the Pep and Co. Poundland range. They're just black with wee silver, they're quite pretty, wee silver, um, they mounted on the straps they're basically like the wee um what do you call them they're just well flip flops frequent flip flop but they're like the toe one the toe what do you call the flip flops that have this toe in them toe flip flops and i'm thinking of the name but i can't get it into my head it's that bad but climb in our head after all but um basically the crappiest representation of these flip flops ever was <laughs> like hanging on for dear life from ones like <laughs> I don't know, but they're so so pretty and yeah, they do have different styles. When I went in, we, me and my sister went in the pound down, was seen a lot of different styles of these flip flops. There's white ones as well, and like leopard print and even fancier ones. So, my sister actually got this pair as well, the exact same because what friends is my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and basically you just look like that at the back but i'm happy i got them because i'm going away on holiday if i haven't mentioned it a thousand times on my channel by this point at the end of june and um i wanted to get a wee cheapy pair of flip flops for the pool i do have plenty of like summer shoes flip flops sweet toms but I wouldn't really feel comfortable there's one part i would feel comfortable with wearing in the pool and whatnot but they are like dear ones and I've had them for years but I wouldn't mind wearing them in the pool but I wanted to get a wee cheapy throwaway like they don't curve they get really ruined flip flops and I just got them just because they're three pound they're my size they're kind of cute and I needed them for my pool because obviously for the holiday I'll I'll what am I talking about <laughs> okay because obviously on my holiday, I will be spending a lot of time at the pool and having my toe and beach too and having my foot, my foot, my feet in and out of shoes. And I didn't want to get sand and water and just yucky things from the beach into my good flip flops. I wanted to keep um just a wee creepy. I wanted to keep a wee um, cheaper hair just for them 
type of reasons for that kind of occasion. Right, moving on. I've talked too much about these flip flops for like five minutes, not even joking. So, um, the last thing I got from Poundland, surprise, surprise, another holiday essential item thing. These black shorts, they just look like that. They were four pound, no, three pound fifty bargain, and they're basically just wee black throw on shirt. Shirt. It's like literally half ten at night, love. I'm tired. Right. <laughs> shorts and just wee fabric ones. They're similar to ones the pre work, the ones doing pre work, and they have the white um stripe, the trim on them. I got them in a small, so basically an 8 to 10, which is my size. And I just wanted them for throwing on with wee vest tops, just for kind of casual daytime vibe. And yeah, happy enough with them. I might get another pair before the holiday, because I did get some in Primark, not black ones. I got, um, they're like a pinky colour, yeah, pink. But I want to get another pair of black, maybe Primark ones, or like the ones from Asa, just so I have a couple, because... Even just to work out, and I've got cycling shorts I use for summer for workout, but I want to get just a few of them to throw on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. People are probably thinking, love, you're only going for a week. You don't need to bring a whole load of stuff. I know I don't, but I want to get a couple of the sweet basics to throw on. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what I got from Highland, and that all came to, let me see, um, £7.50, so a bargain, just a few wee things. Um, and the last things I got are, well, I actually kind of have four things, but one I got free with, because I spent over a certain amount, I think it was 15, and I got a free face mask. Right, first thing, which Horton has ruined the lid off, and you can see that there, teeth marks, oh, the cover it, that was clever, teeth marks all over the lid. Thank you, Horton, he's in here, like, beside me, well, on the floor when I'm filming this video. Oh, this bag's in my head. Basically, when I first treated this last week, Horton had net from my bed. I had it on top of my towel and my mitt ready to do my tan after my skincare. I was away for two minutes. Thanks, Connor. He got me with tea. Two minutes. And the wee bugger had got this tan, was turning the lid off my tan. And I literally called him, I was like, where's some tan? Horton! I literally shouted at him, like, no! Literally, took it off him and literally shouted at him, and he looked so guilty. But literally, this tan was, a, I think it might have been around £19. I did not want him, even though lucky enough that he didn't get into the actual liquid, thank the Lord, because I would have been like a vet's bit. Yeah, vet's bill, of course. But a vet visit and we wouldn't want that. But it just got the lid, which I'd rather him get the lid and get into the liquid and drink that. Do you know what I mean? So, yes, now he wants out. I had to let Horton out there because he's been a little pain. Dog mum life. Right. <laughs> so, I have reviewed this time, but it'll be in a later video. No, what? I just left you out and you just went back in again. Horton, what do you have? Let me see. Horton, let me see what you have. Let me see. Horton? Is that a bone? I think it's a bone. Right. He's worse than a child, literally. I opened that door because he's put a door, like, basically saying, Mummy, let me out. So I let him out. And then... A minute later, like not even back in. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel so bad when I was like that when I was a kid. <laughs> Sorry, mum and dad. <laughs> and I was like, I was, I was actually paying for going in and out and in and out. But right, this tan, I have it on now because it's been ten days since I bought it, so I've have it on now. I wore it last week and this week, and I love it. It's the F and Tan. I haven't mentioned that name already. <laughs> the F and Tan. I know, crazy. It's the Alt Dark Tan and Foam. And they do have a medium, a dark, and an Alt Dark. I think it's medium, the dark. I don't know. Medium, dark, and Alt Dark. And then I have Gradual Tanners, 
one is like the medium and one the mini in the dark. My sister actually got the mini in the dark one and I can't wait to try that one myself but I've got another granny tanner deed up and a whammy band unnecessary tans with a rich holiday. But yeah, so I'm raging at about look at that tooth mark there. But it's a good tan. If you're looking for a vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, ultra dark tan if you've got pale skin like myself naturally. F and tan. Literally get yourself some F and tan. <laughs> oh my goodness. I remember when I first seen this in Super Drug and I was like, what? F and tan? And then I did a whole story on my Instagram and Facebook and then I was like, right, so I'll come across this hand. It's called F and Tan. And I don't know where to get it or not, but I forgot and I had to review it and if someone asked me in the street or whatever or my friend, what tan are you using? I have to say F and Tan. <laughs> and they'd be like, she oh, swear, I know it's a name, F and Tan. Right, enough with that tan, the F and Tan. Right, okay, so <laughs> I think I've got the receipt here anyway. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, it's actually written up. E F F I N. That's the original name of it. <laughs> it was £18.99, so £19. And I did get um a brown last year, which is the Revolution Pro, I believe. The Amanda Holden last year. Now, Horton. Do we take cheese and salad or take it or anything? Behave yourself. So, <laughs> sorry about him. This is what it looks like. Um, I've got it the wrong way up. That's what it looks like. This was £10. And beautiful packaging, by the way. Pink and white, can't go wrong. It's basically a double-ended lash and brow serum. I've been using it religiously. Well, a couple of days off. But pretty much since I got it 10 days ago. And I think... It has made a difference in my lashes. Brows too, so it's basically like a double ended thing. No horn out of it! Connor, get him! Connor! Connor! Crazy house, right? You're gonna behave yourself one last chance before you go into all that. Just don't want him to get into all that and flip and rack it. Can't trust him after the hand gate. That's what you done, Horton. Look what you done in the left hand bottle. Yes, you. So, basically, one end does have the wee brush for lashes. And then, I don't know what. Oh, oh that's actually the little spoolie. <laughs> that's a spoolie for, like, the brow. If you can use it on the lashes, too. And then the other end has the wee brush. That's what it looks like there. So that's for the lashes and then it's really for the brows and I also use it really for the lashes too because I'm extra. So I love it. If you're looking for a good affordable lash serum, definitely get this £10. Double duty lash and brow serum. Go get it. And um, it does definitely work. I can feel the difference in my lashes and my, and my eyebrows if I can speak. It's worth it. So um, let me see. Last thing I did buy before I got the free item is this Revolution Pro Goddess Glow. It's her glow fixing mist. Beautiful packaging. It reminds me of the um Be Perfect One Do Free Setting Spray. I have sprayed it on my face today when I'm done makeup this morning. Well, this afternoon before lamppost. Horton, I love that's what it is. It's reflective. It's <laughs> He's like chasing the reflecting of it. But it has big glow glitters. Well, glow glitters. Gold glitters in it. So if you shake it and you just spray it on your face, it might do a little bit of a refresh. Don't know. Like that. Oh, so nice. And it smells like a nice perfume. like coconutty, florally. Smells like holidays and a satin spray. I bought this again. For my holidays and also to find a dupe of my one do free satin spray okay my video has been through a lot of fails i probably wrap my makeup i don't really mind because i'm gonna be taking it off anyway before bed but um i wanted to get this for a dupe and also to bring away on holiday because i want a nice glowy dewy satin spray and horton's going after 
this reflection is gonna go mad. Gonna go mad. Look. <laughs> you your tricks. Show everyone your tricks on. Show everyone your tricks. Magic tricks. Come on. Look. Horton. Horton. It's here. So literally, I can't wait to try it right? and I think that was £10.2. I will look at my re receipt to keep myself right. Um, did get like that cola too, but I don't have that because I drank it. <laughs> the um, setting spray was £8, so the all, if I could speak, <laughs> so I spent around. Um, it's forty seven pound and all, so didn't need to have to flip and do the mask. I could have just looked at the receipt and been smart about it, but it wasn't because I don't do things simple. I do it complicated. But yeah, that's what I bought. But I'm also going to show you my masks. I haven't used that, so I got this lovely wee Collins cheap mask free with my super drug purchase, which is lovely. And I might use this tonight on my face to give me a lovely um. Glow girl. I know I'm weird, really, really weird. It's a wee sheet mask, so I'm going to look fabulous when watching Bad Girls Night. Woo! Can't wait. Okay, I'm getting crazy because my French is on. Okay, why am I getting so many feels in this video today? I don't know. It's probably because this house is a mad house and it has a mad woman in it with her two fruit. Crazy flipping Frenchies. <laughs> I'm just going to put them all in the bag and I hope you enjoyed this video with the craziness twist in this video. And I'll see you again for the next one. Stay gorgeous. God bless. Bye.